Nazir Perak Bet Mishnah Yud. Tenth Mishnah in the second chapter of Masechah Nazir. So we learn in the last Mishnah. If a person says, Hareni Nazir, Sheli Ben, Vin Nazir. I'm a Nazir if I have a child and another Nazir. And we learned, we, we're going to learn here that Stam Naziru, when you say Hareni Nazir, that's 30 days. If you don't qualify, you can say a Nazir as long as you want. But if you don't say anything, it's 30 days. So what you said is, I'm going to have a, be a Nazir when I have a child, 30 days, and it took another 30 days. Okay, but you didn't have the child right away. So you start counting your Naziru to, to, to 15 days in. They said, if you have the child, then you stop counting. This is what we learned in the last Mishnah. Last Mishnah. You stop counting the 15 days. You start the 30. When the, that 30 is over, this is the 30 of the child, Yeli Ben. This is the 30 of the, 30 of the, of the Ben. Oops. Well, let's just leave it that way. 30 of the Ben. And then you finish the 30 of the Ben, you finish the other 15, and then you bring, then here you bring two korbanot. Our mission is continuing. Since what if you didn't say the Nistam Naziru, but you said the length of the second Naziru? Okay? You said the following. Hareni Nazir Kshieli Ben, Vin Nazir Me'ayom. I want to be a Stam Nazir of 30 days when I have a child. But I also want to be a Nazir of Me'ayom, a Nazir of 30 days. So in theory, what you should do is the following. If you had a child right away, you would have a Nazir Kshieli Ben, 30 days. Then you would bring your Korbanot. And then you would have a Nizirut, a Nizirut of 100 days. And of course, the guy didn't have a child right away, so he started counting. He started counting. This is the reality. The orange is the reality. He started counting. Into his, uh, he started counting his Nizirut of 100 days. Okay? No lad lo ben ad shivim lo hivsid klum. What happens is, if he had the child, ad shivim, up to 70 days in, he hasn't lost anything. We're going to read the Mishnah and then explain. La'achar shivim, but if he had the child after 70 days, Soter shivim. That ruins, he, that breaks the 70. She'en tiglachat pachot mishloshim yom. Because there isn't any tiglachat less than 30 days. You don't shave or nazir. There's no such thing as nazirut that's less than 30 days. Let's explain. So let's, he starts the, he said, Arani zali she'eli ben, v'nazir me'ayom. So, but he didn't have the child yet. So he starts the nazir of the 100 days. He gets in 70 days. His wife has a child. He has a son. So what does he have to do? The nazirut of 30 days. Okay, so what's left? After that, he finishes the Nizirut of the 30 days. Okay, then he can do Tiglachat. And he can do another 30 days. He could do Tiglachat here. And he still could do another 30 days. And then do another Tiglachat. Remember that in the one above, if he only has 15, he can't do a Tiglachat here. He has to finish the 30 and then do two. But here, since he has 30 days, he has full 30 days here. And he has another 30 days to go to finish the 100. He could do the Tiglachat here and then do the other Tiglachat here. I'm pretty sure. If you have another opinion, and then let me know. But that's not the way it's, it implies. But let's copy this. But let's do all of this and say, what happens if, if, it, if it doesn't happen exactly that way? It happens a little bit differently. Where's my 70? Let's move my 70 guy. There we go. 70 now is not 70. What if he's 69? Okay. Um, oh, I'm sorry. 71. 72. And you're going to be left here with 28. You do 72 here, and then your wife has a child. 72nd day. Let's look at the bar tunura. Shumafsik naziru. Okay, if ad shivim up to 70 here. Shumafsik naziru to umone naziru tbano. So he counts the naziru of his son. Umegaleach. And then we said, and then he shaved. Let's go back to the, he does, he, he does the giloch. He stops it from this naziru after 30. Vechozer umashlim et shalo. He finishes litashlum naziru to amin ashivim. You have to finish off the 100. Hem shloshim yom. You still have 30 days left. Nimsa, it turns out, So what you've lost is, the, 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 the amount that you have left is this 30. No problem. So you can do another Tiglachat right here. Let's say your wife had a child 72 days afterwards. Now you have to stop and do the Nizirut of 30 days for your son. Now you're going to have the giluah. Now, when you're done here, you have to finish. How much you have left? Remember, we said 28 days of our tuner reset. You have less than 30 days, says the bar tunura, between the last zirut and now the one you have to finish for the one, the 30, the 100 days. And between Tiglachat and Tiglachat, you can't have less than 30 days between one Tiglachat and another. 
So therefore, what happens as a bar tenura? Okay, so meaning, what happens is, according to the Bartino, you lose these 72, and then afterwards, you don't do this 28. This, this 72 counts for, that's what give me, you lose it, okay, 72, and then you have to turn this 28, you have to turn it back into, you have to count another 100. That's the way the Bartuner understands this Mishnah. As I said, the last Mishnah, the Rambam has a totally different understanding, which you can look up on your own, if you'd like. We'll stop here. I don't want to get too much in the weeds. You can get really in the weeds of this Mishnah of accounting. And dedicate our learning to memory. My father, Herab Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a good day.